In other news, the revival of railway transport in sections of the country where it had collapsed is news that has been received well by residents who now say they are optimistic the economy of these areas will grow in leaps and bounds. This was after eight counties pledged to work together to restore the Nairobi, Nanyuki and Nyahururu Gilgil railway lines. The project will cost 25 billion Kenya shillings and each of the eight counties will give a startup of 100 million shillings. Karundari has the details. Railway transport is a convenient mode that offers parks that road transport does not offer. The collapse of the Nairobi Nanyuki railway line years ago destabilized businesses greatly and hindered economic progression. Plans by eight counties to revive the Nairobi Nanyuki and the Nyahururu Gilgil railway lines have been welcomed by locals, governors, and representatives of the said counties, like Ipia, Nyeri. Kirinyaga, Kiambu, Nairobi, Nyandarwa, Isiolo and Moranga pledged to give a startup of 100 million shillings each. Utilize the railway stations that are going to be built to create park and ride stations such that people don't have to use personal cars, for instance, to come into the capital city. Uh, create, connect Isiolo Airport to, those, to that population so it can be an alternative to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and provide a common duct that will give services such as sewer, fiber, um, water along the railway we live. We are sitting in a region where the old railway was passing of more than 7.5 million people. When we connect the people of Isiru and Upper Eastern and moving on to Moyale and Ethiopia, we're going to be connecting to a lot more people. A lot of the wealth of this country lies to the north of this country and we want, therefore, and we're asking that uh, we be given the resources to help us to open up. Uh, to create jobs for many of our young people. As county governors, we are pledged to, to contribute money immediately so that the rehabilitation works can start. And uh, we have proposed that uh, each county can, can start by, 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 by pledging uh, 100 million to, to start off the, the work of rehabilitating the railway line, which has, uh, was operating some times ago. It has some defects, obviously, but. Uh, it can it, it can be repaired because most of the line is there only that uh, some 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 bridges have been washed away in in terms of funding we are definitely going to be reaching out to capital markets and the national treasury so that we can actually roll out an infrastructure board that will be able to bridge the gap on resources one thing that you will notice when you're driving on this road from Nairobi through to Nanyuki towards Isiolo there's a lot of increase in traffic. You have a lot of trucks moving through. So one of the things that we'll do, this being an exploratory meeting, one of the things we have agreed is that we need to conduct what we call a traffic uh, study, do some demand analysis, be able to establish what people require, what transport requirements in this region, what are the emerging issues, so that then you can be able to provide a solution as a railway solution because the infrastructure is in place. We think that it's a little bit foolish to break up your own country and to sabotage your own self. So we, as leaders, uh, take a different path. And we want to encourage all of us, let's take a different path. And that path is of economic development, is of creating jobs, and that's why we are here. The total cost of the railway line's restoration is expected to be about 25 billion shillings. We decided to travel down the railway line from Nyeri County all the way to Laikipia County. At Chaka area, traders at the Chaka market carry on their businesses right over the railway. Na hii reli nimeona ni vizuri ifufuliwa kwa maana kuna siku ilikuwa inafanya. Iyo gari ya moshi wakati ilikuwa inakuja, ilikuwa inakuja na vitu kutoka na robi, na ilikuwa raisi. Na tena hakuna jamu kwa hiyo gari. Kama ni kuja wale watu ambao wakona mizigo mingi, itakuwa raisi kwao. Diwata hawa sisi tutakuwa tukipata job. Misiko ikikuja hapa, inakuja, tunayakeloa, mtu anapeleka mahali baribari hapa kwa pipijijini hapa. Do you know that Nanyuki's other name is Mwisho Areli? And this is why. Where I'm standing on is the railway line, and that is the very end of it, Mwisho Areli. But this now will change. The governors will come together to raise money to construct anew this railway line, definitely boosting the economy of the regions where the line will pass through. Nanyuki, it's, it, it's called Mishwa really because of, uh, of uh, 
Yeah, because of, because of what happened before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because when the rails when the rails were being built back in uh, 1930, uh, it ended right here. The map uh, the map it, yeah got lost actually at the Majengo. So <laughs> so that's the history that you'll find there at the museum. We'll teach about all that. Yeah. Tangu tuskie Larry Tarudi to Meshkuru Sana because kutakuwa na na nini ma, malipo kidogo ya ku travel kama hii leli itabadilishwa tuwekeo GSR itakuwa ni sawa hii leli ikisaidia sana sababu ikikuja na sawa na kasi tusaidike Next to the railway line is a museum housed in an 87-year-old iron sheets building. The museum itself is only a few months old, but its proximity next to the railway line has visitors trooping over to learn the history of the railway and the cultural aspects of the communities that lived here. The director, Jacinta Kingori, says school children and tourists make up the bulk of the visitors. History museum now we are teaching about the history of Laikipia County and actually in Laikipia County we've never had a museum before so this is our first museum and by that we are able now to capture all the all the all the activities all all, all the history that happened uh, during um, happened here in Laikipia County during those past ages yeah and uh, as you can see the we also have the railways museum and now that's what we are teaching the the history of the railways, how it was brought on board in 1930s. And actually this building that we are in, it was built during uh, those periods of 1930s. And it's very, very old, very, very old. When they said the devolution was intended to bring services closer to the people, this will be actualized once the new railway line is complete. Carol Nderi, KT News, Nanyuki, Laikipia County.